Hold a moment. You may visit the palace and its shrine, but be warned. The queen meets with trading company vipers. Take care you are not bitten. You will find her in her throne room through the door behind me. Inform the guards of your purpose. Whether the queen will hear you above the baying of her guests is another matter. While I am flattered by the esteemed Hazanui's confidence, I must wonder how my people are meant to have destroyed an entire colony overnight. You tell us. It's no coincidence that your outpost at Port Maje survived the recent storm. You speak as if I could command the tides. While you are casting your blame in a wide net, why not look to our Kahunga allies? We do not share their talent for shaping water. I say our guest forgets himself. Brother, stand down. You are the one who mistakes my throne room for a sparring arena. I say this is beneath us. An interesting visitor in difficult times. You cannot be here to deliver a favorable omen. The gods remember the honest, and so do I. Allow me to apologize as I toss you before the wolves. This one is a watcher blessed by Tangaloa. I suspect that many of our questions about her songo will soon be answered. I know this one. His parlor tricks frightened ten years of every sailor in Queen's birth. We assembled to discuss the darkening of Hasongo, one of Rawatai's colonies. Watcher, it seems you have the floor. Huh. What sailor's tale is this? There's no sane explanation for what's been happening. You keep waiting for one, it'll be too late. Does tilling the soils of the Eastern Reach drive all men mad? You sound as crazy as the Dawnstar Dreamers. Have you not heard the rumors, Karu? An Adra Colossus marching across the sea. Sailor tales, but credible ones. How came a Watcher from half the world away to be involved in these... happenings? Enlighten the court. Tracking down a god who stands as tall as a mountain, a fisherman with poor eyesight could do this. My priests will trip over their feet to interpret his divine plan. Watcher, 
Can you cut through the din and tell for what he comes to the dead fire? How resourceful of you. The eyes are studded with enough luminous Adra to bankroll an economy. I believe our course is clear. We will send the Watcher to Hisongo. Set sail to the west of Nekataka. I would tell you to keep a weather eye out for a lighthouse, but the God of Light did not appreciate competition. Something to add, Hazanui? You have an eager look about you. She believes herself entitled to my ear, I say. Only that Hasongo is a Rawatayan outpost. It would be useful for the Watcher to take one of ours along. Ma'am? Maya's an expert sailor and a better sharpshooter. The best the Brass Citadel has to offer. Whatever comes your way, she'll see it first. If it gets me and Ashiza out of diplomat duty, we'd set sail with a drunk scolder at the helm. Ak, parfitto. Do you mean to stop Eothas by shooting him? Seri Pelagina will go with the Watcher. Show him how the Republic's handled things. Um, Your Excellency, Pelagina Messerai has been... banished? She has been seen in Queen's Berth. I can have her report to headquarters. You should feel no obligation to take on additional crew. The choice is yours. Say the word and I'll shoot the tip off a green boy's nose. You are making a mistake, Watcher. In times like these, trustworthy allies are the most valuable asset of all. Calm down, Nero. I'm sure you'll get one of your spies in place eventually. In the meantime, Watcher, I hope you'll meet me in the Brass Citadel. There's more for us to discuss among friendlier company. I believe we are finished here. Are we here? Aren't we popular? Take care at Hasongo. The dead fire was overfull before Aethus blundered in. Your allies will use you toward any end. Do not give your trust lightly. I say it is beyond time our guests lick their wounds somewhere else. Let's speak. While we have the chance. Your coming is a favorable omen already. Such modesty, I say. You happen by a time when our rivals bicker and tear at each other's throats. <laughs> it does not take a priest to see how the gods send us an outsider to dig under the skin of our enemies. Save your manners for my sister. Kohopa fashioned me for the arena, not the court. I will not paddle around the island. My sister wants to know if you are as useful as you are disruptive. She trusts me to judge this. You did not come this far to serve the crown, I say. But sailing is an expensive hobby. Loyal service can keep your galley stocked. My sister keeps a tight grip on the kataka, but the filth of it drips down her palm and into the gullet. Under our noses, I say. 
Do foreigners smuggle contraband and pay the Rapau for their silence? Take this if you need proof. An envoy ship sank a day's voyage out of Nakataka. He wore that on his breast. My guards recovered it in a raid of the gullet. This confirms my suspicion. Nekataka has a pirate problem. Smugglers and thieves cluster like rats in Delver's Row, a growth in the bowels of our city. You think pirates raiding those Republic's bastards be the source of your people's agony? Wonder what the gullet folk would be thinking of that, sir. Anyone who preys on my people will know Onikaza's justice in time, I say. I want someone to peddle the medallion to the black market, earn the trust of these pirates, and learn how supplies come into my city. It will depend on what you find, I say. Onikaza leaves this for me to handle. While she worries about the manor, I tidy up the basement. Yours is not a face that others will recognize. Let no one learn that you work for the crown. They say you're on familiar terms with Ngati's chosen son, Takeho. See that he joins you in the gullet. He knows something of our troubles already. Ikara, I am certain it doesn't. The voyage will be good for him, I say. Be on your guard in the gullet. I fear the caverns run deeper than even Ngati could guess. It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Ernesto deals in such things. His shop is further down, next to the lift. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. A moment. This is a rare treasure, one for which certain people would pay a small fortune. I must ask, how did you come by this? You might speak with Dereo the Lean. He would be interested to know that such goods are... drifting. Good. Tell him that... I will keep this safe for him. Was there any other business you wish to discuss? What do you require? And now the real work begins. You must take this to the Undercraft. Funny how they never mention the real work up front. Ay, Miko. It is but a jaunt. 
It lies just below Delver's Row. It is where goods of questionable provenance originate. Take the lift from Delver's Row, not the lift in the gullet, mind you. My associate Gwenfen will await you outside a passage in the old Juana style. The ruins of the old city are perilous, yet rumored to hide great treasures. Still, the Juana do not permit people to go there except to die. And yet, among the ruins is a certain mosaic. The shell you found will reveal it to you. Gwenfen can explain all when you find her. It is said the old city was once as grand as Serpent's Crown. Whatever treasure you find there is yours to keep. For now, take this. Consider it an advance. It is an old Juana artifact, a musical instrument of sorts. Ages ago, it was part of a pair, but its companion, the Cornet of Depths, was lost when the old city sank. Both are said to carry the voice of Andra herself. I do not believe in such superstition, of course. I have told you all you need to know of the cornet. Now, I suggest you focus your sharp mind on retrieving it. You the Watcher? Dario said you can pass. Kira, but have you pried any secrets from the gullet yet? Maya, I hope you do not judge our fair city too harshly. What? 
Look, keep your business where it belongs. With the captain. Undercroft. A darker, more fetid layer of Nekataka, I say. Only Kaza and I are the mind and heart of the city, but the bowels, these we cannot reach. At least Delva's row is a stable target. The crown has time to decide the next steps. I had my suspicions, but I had no wish to see them confirmed. When it comes to the dignity of the guild, the crown can compromise nothing. Onikaza will see their leadership disciplined, I say. Ikira, and if we enjoyed less interesting times, I say she would. Onikaza and I both expect more from the guild, I say. She will not be pleased. Ikira, but at least you return to me in one piece. You are not the first agent I sent to the gullet, but you are the first to return. I say I would feel safe anywhere with with Rawatai's sharpest weapon in my arsenal. If you're trying to flatter me, stop taking notes from my brother the poet. I cannot say that I desire to send you to worse places than the gullet, but... Ikira, my apologies. Does the name Ukaizo mean anything to you? Fable? No. History, I say. Ukaizo was the home of the Hwana before cataclysm and destruction wiped the island from the dead fire. That is the story. Story or no, I make no secret that we search for Ukaizo. I do not share this lightly, I say. Please, speak on. If it looks like I'm taking notes, it's because I am. Should I leave this in the hands of someone I trust instead? Kira, I should hope so. Our tribes are spread across many isles, but it is Ukaizo which binds us. Ukaizo, in the knowledge that we must return. To that end, a local cartographer secured a lead. A breadcrumb to a breadcrumb, I say. I sent an expedition to Matari Okozi, one of the Sanctuary Isles. They were to retrieve evidence of our lost homeland. They have yet to return. They were sites where our ancestors grouped in terms of crisis. Constants in changing seas. You have the cartographer Atepo to thank. He wanders the Western Shrine if you would know more. The Sanctuary Isles give comfort and guidance to sailors on the long journey home. I am hoping the island can remember its purpose and return us to the home we lost. A question for those with years to gather reeds and scribe their thoughts. It might be that someone or something on the island does not wish to be found. In better times than these, I would have been happy to oblige. The trading companies would not have thought to look for Matari or Kozi, but now they are vultures to carry in. I do not doubt that our rivals race for the same thing, all while we fall behind. Ikira, then you are ready to depart? Before you go. That did seem like too nice a way to end it. The expedition. I have reason to believe they will not be returning to Nekataka. You forget yourself, but I am more forgiving than my sister. We found this at the palace doorstep, cut from the robe of the expedition leader. One mystery heaped on another, I say.
I suspected this, as you say. Take care if you alight on Matari Okozi. My fear is that the island is sanctuary no more. Prepare yourself for a hard voyage northeast of Nekataka. Matari Okozi is nestled in the core of Rokuhu Islands, in the midst of a landmass that resembles a storm, like the fall of Ukaizo locked in time. Don't mind me as I take down those coordinates. Hey, Cap. He reminded me to drop anchor at the next brothel we pass. Some things I aim to be given a try before you go getting us all good and killed. A tepu, drawer of maps. I have nothing to sell unless you are needing something else. What I discovered remains to be seen. The Sanctuary Isles were thought to be lost beneath the waves. If I stumbled upon one, I can think of worse finds to credit my name. Our ancestors marked off specific islands across Deadfire as rallying points in case a great misfortune split up the tribes. Even they could not have guessed how important the isles would become. Some thousands of years ago, volcanoes, storms, and quakes shook the archipelago. Any one of those do happen, but never with such ferocity or all at once. The Juana survived by taking shelter on the Sanctuary Isles to save our society and not just any one tribe. Since those days, we have not found any of the old Sanctuary Isles. Ngati took some beneath the waves, taking whole tribes with her. Others were lost to time and forgetfulness. I am told that the Wahaki are protective toward the Isles, but that is their business. I was surveying the waters around an atoll when a storm dragged my ship off course. The waters were unknown to me. When a green fleck appeared in my spyglass, I unfurled my sail. The shore twisted around itself, confusing even this old navigator until I found myself at the center. I did not make it far up the beach before I spotted signs of habitation. Marking my coordinates and orienting myself by the evening sky, I made for Nekitaka to tell the crown of my findings. Understand, the dead fire was broken, the lives lost could not be counted, and more has been forgotten than may ever be remembered. Imagine how much history we lost in a single year, much less the millennia that followed. Whatever our people hoped for themselves, we may never know if we got it right or wrong. Death. I, I did not mean to frighten you. These islands have known great tragedy, and millennia have passed in cheerless silence. Should you land on a sanctuary isle, do not expect to find welcome. Ah, if we must. There is not a Juana in all of the dead fire who does not take to the open water hoping to catch a glimpse of the lost Ukaizo. <sighs> If I could walk the beaches of our ancestors, take a fleeting glimpse of what they left behind, mine would be a life well lived. The same thing we all hope for, answers to the long silence that precedes our history. Who we were could tell us who we are. But if I am being selfish, maps, charts. Our ancestors were keen explorers, and a roll of their parchment could teach us more than what we have gathered in the last century. 